Many people have offered to foster or adopt the baby found inside a dumpster earlier this week. But it turns out he could go back to the mother who abandoned him. And his father could go to jail. Kevin Reese has the story new tonight. It's sad to someone do something like that. In the outrage that comes with someone tossing a newborn in a dumpster. People just, uh, it's amazing, you know, the way they act sometimes. Viewers tell us this statement outraged them next. She's the biological mother and unless until um, her rights, if, if rights are terminated, um, until then she's got rights to the baby. The 16 year old mom who admits dumping baby Carlos here could very well get her baby back someday. Nothing about this case as shocking as it sounds has surprised me. Our legal expert Professor Gerald Treese explained how it could happen. Baby Carlos now has his own state appointed attorney. The 16 year old mom has been appointed an attorney too. And by state law, the biological family has at least a full year to prove to Child Protective Services and a judge that they can give the baby a good home. We're not talking about just placing it with her, we're talking about her aunts, her uncles. You know, the grandparents, other people could be a well structured family for this child. That's what happened with this baby. Baby Aiden, found next to an apartment complex dumpster in southeast Houston last June, his family fought for custody and won. But others are eventually adopted to other families. That's what happened with baby Chloe, found a year ago in a plastic shopping bag outside a Cypress apartment complex. My heart broke. My heart broke for, for any mother that, that's out there. As for the 16-year-old mother of baby Carlos, criminal charges are still being considered. Anything from attempted murder to child abandonment. And sources say charges are very likely against the alleged father. Statutory rape charges. He was 22. She was 16. But the focus now and for the next year in court is baby Carlos and what's best for him. This child is lucky it's alive, but it's even luckier now that third parties are going to be looking for what's the best interest of that child. And that could eventually include going right back to the family that threw him away. Kevin Reese, KHOU 11 News.